in part one and part two of Shark Bite event, you're gonna get to see how I put it on YouTube. If you're an adult and you don't know how adults, otherwise you're gonna have to do something. Make it go upload the video. Make it go live. Yeah, I took a few. Hmm. Next. Next. Upload video. It'll be upload. It will take a while. Yeah, you may not want to watch it, but if you do, guys. Hi guys, please. it's Sunny Mario Play. Again. Yeah, you can create a title, but I'm not. Yeah, I just did so shit. Two are golden. These two are golden now. Wait, did I actually two of them? Sandra Mario. You know, you've watched me right guys. I know my other ones. I've only got two views with that two guys, thank you. And eight views, one view. Oh, that's fair for nothing. Seven views. Uh, honey, scary five views. Whoa, 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 whoa. No views yet. That was not one of the other ones. That was my one. Wait, I can turn it on again. What is it? What is it? Oh, did you? Anyways, I'm YouTubing. Yes, he's got two accounts. The Abby Allen starter one, which is my mum's one. So make sure to subscribe to both. I guess I can't subscribe myself. Who cares? Uh, so yeah, that's it. So you should be uploaded to... Um, did you mean Xander? What the heck is that? What the heck is that one? Oh. You know, that is one of the ones. What the heck do you mean that, Xander? For real. What the heck is this? Yeah, that's just not Xander Mario. This is real Xander Mario. Plays. Xander Mario plays. Xander Mario plays real. It's only a wee short. Yes, I'm fine and I'm YouTubing. Yes. Sorry, guys. <coughs> 23 years, the one where my first ever person we don't get, who we don't got on with. Kind of the saves is here, kills is <gasps> So, what? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know what this is. What the heck is that? Uh, I don't know what I feel like. Yeah, so do you turn on YouTube videos? Oh, it will come up for 10 months. Oh, let's get on to Guys, the next part of the puzzle has been solved. And in today's video, we're going to tell you guys how you can get from step two to step three. And yes, we are not on. 
might be able to work out what the symbols are. Uh, but we don't know which row, right? I see what he's, I see what he's saying. Yeah. So, so like we, we can figure out what each number... Yeah, I think it's obvious. I think it's just... Take a code, take a screenshot, leave. But you know, like, in order. Like so guys, pause it. Uh, go into another game, take a screenshot. Do, do, do. Pause there. So guys, I think it's still going to be the plus <coughs> if it was one. Is it... You see, right on the letter. Oh yeah, you can't see. Wait, I want to take a screenshot. Yeah, can I please take a quick screenshot? Yeah, we're going to have to do opposite. Guys, I want to take a screenshot. So see that dot? Yes. Now doodle. Draw. Why not draw? Yeah, I think I need to add it. Add. See it. No. That's not what I wanted. Anyway, so let's just find out. And then I'll tell you. I think it's obvious easily. Do the same thing with that code. Go into another oh. one and literally just keep doing it so that you kind of like solve the puzzle by just doing it over and over. Okay, you see right. the And let's just say, I mean. things didn't go to plan. We tried and tried and tried, but things still did not work. There was a little thing that I wanted to try and do where I was just basically going to get loads of pictures of loads of different symbols and all of the numbers as well and try and link them all together and get my mathematical brain working. But uh, we didn't really do it. <laughs> but what we're going to tell you guys today is we're going to show you how to get from step one all the way to step three. Now, now, step one, you have to try and escape in the docks without Pony getting infected. Now, the easier thing to do here, guys, is to get a private server. And you might, might be going, oh, but private servers cost money. They're actually free at the moment. So if you go there, check out. You can yep, even play I this with your friends. Make sure to go free. over and Isn't get a private good, server. So you can escape the docks without Pony getting infected. You then head over to the camp map while playing in Swarm. Now, I've got the code on my phone here because I don't my remember this off the top of my head. Hit. The code you need Last to put into that blue key guys, door room is sure four, six, seven, eight, five, right four. Get now there is actually something right pretty right interesting right here, guys, and that is the fact that we've already had that. The first is four, and the second is six, because in this code you've got four and six right at the beginning. So that is potentially that little section out of the way. And just note as well, guys, that when you do actually do the camp chapter and you put the code in and stuff like that, you don't have to escape the chapter you can literally just oof and then head on to step three i literally did it myself so believe me do not worry just oof as soon as you put the code in just oof and just get it over and done with move on to step three okay once you're in step three this is where the fun and games begin and i was playing with call of duty with me too last night and he was basically saying i'm very excited for people to get to step three because it's going to be extremely difficult and it proved correct. The mini tune has made this humongous symbol thing, which means absolutely nothing to nobody, which I believe that there is something going on in another chapter somewhere. So what I'm going to do most of the day oh, doing is spending six. this day because just trying to figure out where these playing? symbols are. The only thing four is, if you go from step one, which is of course the box, chapter one. nine, you then go to step two, <laughs> chapter 10, the camp. No, I said that wrong, chapter 11, the camp. And then you move on to step three, and obviously it's showing another keyboard thing. So, it, technically, we should be getting enough evidence in that chapter to actually manage to figure out what these symbols do mean. Now, if I was to ask the question, do I think that this is the final step? My answer would be yes, because if you go into the final chapter, the lab, where you see that keyboard thing on the wall with all those symbols, there is a door right next to it, which is not Don't get open. Him in but if you actually crouch up to that door zoom out in your camera you can see that there is something behind that door there is a very small room behind that door could that door potentially be the new way of actually getting to the true ending or is that going to reveal a step 
four. <laughs> oh, please no. To be fair, the longer this does go on, I feel like it's the better. I feel like it makes Piggy spoken about. It makes it relevant. So I wouldn't be angry if this whole entire hidden ending actually went on for a good month or so. But there is one thing that I just want to say because something does always crop up onto my mind when I say this, and that is the fact that hidden ending. Of course, in book one, we had the true ending, but this one is the hidden ending. Now, this could mean one or two things. This could simply just mean that Minitoon wanted a different name for this true ending. For example, we already have a badge that is called true ending, so maybe he's just named it something completely different. But hidden ending doesn't necessarily mean the fact that, you know, this is going to be the true ending. This isn't going to be what actually happens at the end of Piggy. That being said, once we do actually finally complete the hidden ending, are we going to get what actually happens at the end of book two? Is it going to be the true ending? Is that going to wipe out all of the other four endings and make this one the real one? I don't know if that makes sense, but to me in my head, that just doesn't really compute with me. Now I do have one more very, very interesting piece of information for you guys, which I'm actually excited to tell you guys about. Now again, I have my trusty phone because there is something on here that I want to tell you guys about. So I'm gonna put a screenshot up on the screen right now. And Minitoon posted, I have no idea where, but he basically put, here's an actual hint. There's a 1 in 1.716155E, which I believe might be re reoccurring. I can't remember exactly what that means. Plus 27, which I believe is the power of 27. I'm not entirely sure. That you can successfully get to it by accident slash chance slash guesswork. So I'm believing that that is to do with this annoying symbol step. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to go in a 1.1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1. What, 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 what percent chance, okay, of actually getting this true ending. That's 100 divided by 100. So we basically need something out there that is going to give us potentially 100 different possible answers. Now, here is where my big brain comes in, okay, guys? So, in the symbols, you have rows. Now, JB did mention that, you know, if you do one from the top row, one from the second row, one from the third row, one from the fourth row, if you do that all the time and do it in different angles and do it in different patterns, you will potentially come out with 100 different patterns to do. That being said, I feel as though JB could be onto something where you actually have to choose a symbol from the top row, the second row, the middle row, and the bottom row. If you had to do it literally just willy-nilly, however you, you know, just literally just randomly pick things and it's not in any order, that would be quite a bigger percentage. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Basically, the amount of patterns that you do downwards, there's a, a roughly around 100 different patterns that you could potentially do. Bear in mind, there's only five on the top row, and then you have six, six, and six. So that could potentially be what that one point whatever reoccurring thing could well be. But I'm going to do a little bit more work. I'm going to try and figure it out. I don't really want to spend too much time trying to figure it out because I feel like I'm going to waste quite a lot of time. <laughs> and I would live stream as well, but but I have got a lot of issues going on with my Wi-Fi at the moment. So I'm not going to live stream just simply because I know that I'll probably start live streaming and then it's literally just going to cut me out. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. The hidden ending is getting a lot, lot closer, guys, okay? So make sure to subscribe if you're new around here and you guys can always change your mind later on and down the line. Also, if you guys could be using star code and tips like Mr. Beast is saying, just throw up here you know just ignore that bit <laughs> okay so we're taking a step back from the true ending well technically we're not we're going to jump into a different type of true ending so last week i actually reacted to this guy dogbond 62 who does create these really really good animations he also actually taught me how to make my own and i will be uploading another part to my last true ending that i did upload on the channel this weekend so of course what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be checking out